let me point out for some important tips uh, for preventing gastrointestinal diseases. You know, the gastrointestinal diseases are so many and you know, so many causes are there, so many infections are there, but mainly we should not forget about the diet related problems. Because diet is one thing which is very much uh, incrementing factor or rather precipitating or aggravating factors for the existing disease. Especially we all follow uh, the traditional diet, you know, is, is being changing into the westernized diet. This happens because of all this junk food and then high fatty, high saturated fat and then in a lot of uh, spicy and then so all these things are very dangerous to the body. It may not show immediately. So by over a period of time, a lot of things can happen. Especially if you have seen many GERD is one important thing. Then uh, uh, dual also acid peptide disease is another one. Aggravation of cirrhosis is another one. Inflammatory bowel disease is also uh, one of the things which uh, can be uh, Prescribed or aggravated by this dietary change. So, best thing is to follow is you know our mainly Indian diet. Don't go for the Western diet. Avoid fatty foods. Avoid uh, uh, the school drinks, aerated drinks, saturated fats. All these things are very detrimental to the human body. So, going for a traditional Hindi uh, in, uh, body, body. <coughs> our uh, Indian diet is very beneficial for the persons. And avoiding all habits like smoking and alcohol. This also will aggravate the pre-existing problems and always whenever there is a change in your body habits like change in your body structure or change in any symptoms always better to consult the doctor before taking a self medication because pe people with STT or people with lose motions they just go, go to the counter and ask for some medicines but such things okay for one or two days it's okay but again if it's a long term therapy ultimately you are missing the diagnosis you are missing the main treatment which are treatable in the early stage you are neglecting and then the patient can land into de severe problems.